This week on Kappa Review, we're taking a look at the work and programs of the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. Joining us now is the interim president and CEO of the nonprofit organization, Donna Fisher Lewis. Thank you so much for being here and welcome to Kappa Review. So, first, let's start with what is a Congressional Black Caucus Foundation? Because I understand that it's a complete separate entity from the Congressional Black Caucus, and what's some of the work that you've been doing now to help black communities? So the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation it was established in 1976. We are a nonpartisan, nonprofit, public policy, research, and educational institution. And so our sole goal is to advance the global black community by developing leaders and informing policy and educating the public. We work very hard through our programs and services to um, uplift the black community, but also equip our next generation of late leaders who we hope will want to go into public service. And regardless of what happens with the voting rights legislation in Congress, having access to the ballot will still remain a critical issue for Americans. So what is the foundation doing in terms of voting rights and countering voter suppression? So, you know, we understand at the foundation that voting rights is a fundamental right of citizens. Now, we, of course, are the foundation, so we do not take in part in any legislation or any policy. However, we do want to make sure that our community is well informed. And so that part of our mission where we educate and inform the public, that is where we come in. So we want to make sure that our programs that in our um, we do virtual summits throughout the year. We want to make sure that all of our African-American citizens are informed about redistricting and are informed about their rights as a citizen to be able to vote in this country. And so we have programs uh, and we conduct seminar summits around those issues just so that they know what is what the opportunities are. Um, as far as taking a position on the legislation, we don't do that, but we want to make sure everyone is informed and understands what their rights are. And tell us more about what you're hoping to achieve this year in 2022. So in 2022 um, is a big year for us. Of course, it's an election year. So we actually will be doing a lot of education around, um, you know, black voter engagement and civic engagement in that space. So we're going to be having a series of summits, virtual summits throughout the year, um, educating um, the African-American community and anybody who wants to join in. But we do also are going to um, be preparing, we hope, to be going back in person for our annual legislative conference, which is a five-day policy conference um, that talks about all kinds of issues that uh, affect the African-American community. That conference takes place in September. We also want to make sure that our other programs will be continuing. We continue to have our internship program, which continues to grow. We have our fellowship programs and our scholarships uh, to make sure that African-Americans are able to go to school and pursue higher education. But uh, in March and coming up quickly in March is Women's History Month. We will um, have our Sojourner Truth Legacy Project with, in partnership with our CBC women, the women of the Congressional Black Caucus, to uplift and highlight the role of black women's leadership in this country. That is so exciting. So if people want to participate, where should they go? So if they want to participate, you can always check CBCF's website. It is www.cbcfinc.org. So it's cbcfinc.org. All right, Donna Lewis Fisher from the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation. Thank you so much for being here and for your time. Thank you so much for having me.